right, well, welcome back everybody to YouTube channel VTC TV and we continue to do videos about famous people in blockchain industry. Today with me is one, I think I will say maybe the biggest influencer on YouTube, Ian Bellina. Nice to see you. Nice to meet you as well. <laughs> and uh, can you a little bit explain to our subscribers who you are because I know many people know around, but maybe n not so many so, know. I mean, Bellina, I'm a full-time cryptocurrency investor investing mainly in initial coin offerings, ICOs. Um, I use a data-driven approach to investing in ICOs that I call token, metric, token metrics. So if you've ever seen any spreadsheet on YouTube, um, I was one of the first people to start really creating a community where we leverage data to look at ICOs and try to figure out, based on the data, which ones are the best to invest in. And we have a historical track record tracking every single trade and investment via a spreadsheet that was publicly available, open source to the whole world. Yeah, uh, it's amazing. You said about your community because I need to mention that I don't know you're traveling so much around the world and you are organizing local meetups all around the world. Can you tell us about that? Uh, I think you came from Middle East right now, right? Yeah. So I came from Dubai. Mm -hmm. uh, we I was actually planning to go to Eastern actually, Turkey, but we said, you know what? Many people are going to Malta for the conference. Let's make a quick pit stop and mm -hmm. stop by here for a few days just to, just to be there. And that was a good move. It's been a great conference, great people, yeah. great networking. Yeah. Uh, so you are influencer, you are investor, you are like a speaker. Now you have also been a, like a judge on this speech. Uh, how is your daily routine life is looking like? Like oh, it's it's all over the place. So today, World Cup came to the conference around noon. Mm -hmm. Watch a private that had a team call. So I have hundred advisors. I saw company for investing in, so I had a team call in the, in the morning, came here at noon for, to be a judge on the panel for the ICO pitch competition, that was about two hours, then went to have lunch with the team, then came back, did a, a few, uh, interview with Pundi X, which was uh, a company, we met, you know, an ICO we invested in, our uh, best performing ICO this year, uh, at the peak, over 20X returns, so I had an interview with the CEO, um, now doing an interview with you, and then uh, in about 10 minutes, we're going to be doing a call with a project we're looking to possibly invest in. It's called Resistance. It's a decentralized exchange. And we've been keeping tabs on them. We met them the first, first time all the way back in April during a crypto world tour in, in uh, Stockholm. Mm -hmm. But back then, they were still very early stage, not ready. No. They, they wanted us to invest and advise them. And we said, first, build a prototype of the exchange. Right? They've, they've now built that prototype. They already have the wallet done. Uh, so now there's progress, and now it scores well on token metrics because I basically advised them on, a, on the actual token metrics, right? So now it's, it's great to see the progress. You see, we made many uh, interviews with famous people in blockchain industry, and I can see the passion and happiness what they are doing. Are you happy what you are doing? Like well, absolutely. I, did. I mean, this is a dream job. <laughs> <laughs> you know, travel the world, meet people, uh, do what, what you love on your own time, be your own boss. Not having to work the corporate world, the nine to five, right? Just with the freedom, right? I think it's, it's only the freedom. Freedom. And having control of your time is the most thing. Is it's the best thing I love. About. It's the best. Uh, I need to mention that you made a uh, businessman, right? You came from nowhere, right? You were working for IBM. I remember yeah, yesterday IBM. for IBM. Then one day you decided to let's go to the blockchain industry completely, right? Yeah. When was the first time you heard about blockchain and about BTC? Do you remember that? The first time, I mean, I, I always heard about it in the media, uh -huh. but I didn't really think Pay much it. of it. Mm -hmm. I just thought of it as something that was more for uh, developers, so for people on the dark web. Mm -hmm. okay. But I didn't really think much about it as a form of investment. Mm -hmm. It wasn't until 2016, around October 2016, a friend of mine who I was friends with back in college told me, hey, put me in touch with the director of blockchain at, at IBM. I said, okay, that's a very big ask. Why do you want to talk about this, right? So I, I just kind of interviewed him about blockchain, crypto, the space. Uh, he told me he was a Bitcoin developer, he was launching a crypto fund, and that really shocked me because he was around my age. Okay. And I thought people who had funds were on Wall Street and old, right? So it really intrigued me, and I did my homework on the space. Ended up going on Coinbase to buy my first Bitcoin, my first Ethereum. And just getting really fascinated and going down the rabbit hole, and the rest is history. Wow! Well, yeah. yeah, it's amazing. Actually, you can check uh, Ian Bellina YouTube channel about his success 
about traveling around the world, meeting every, so many people around. Uh, what recommendation maybe you will give to young people or to old people who want to be successful, which one maybe to find their purpose on their life and to be successful? I mean, I would say create a goal, give yourself a deadline, put yourself accountable to it, and work up to that goal. And if you don't achieve your, that deadline, at least you have some kind of something, some kind of repercussion that will force you to act and move right. fast, right? For me, for example, my goal was to be financially free. Right. And in 2017, at, in, at the beginning of 2017, I told myself, by the end of 2017, I want to be financially free. So I'm going to quit my job, no matter what. Right? So, I, yeah, so, yeah, I had a good job. Uh, I had to find a way to make my own money, right? So I ended up putting my job in September, right? So three months early. So everything worked out fine, but that's because I had urgency because I was holding myself accountable. Now, if I didn't really believe in that deadline, I probably would still be working a corporate job. But I told myself, even if I have no source of income, if I don't achieve my goal by the end of the year, I'll still quit. And just try to figure out stuff on the side, right? Uh, after work. So with that being said, it really gave me the whole energy every single day, every single week to find ways to innovate. Because I knew I had to really innovate to find a new ways of making money. Okay, okay, thanks. Do you still have a time for maybe for reading books or do you like to read yes, books, yeah, right? I, mean, uh, I can read books here and there. Some weeks I'm busier than others. Mm -hmm. Right now I'm reading uh, Zero to One by Peter Thiel. Okay. And it's a great book so far. Um, the last book I read before that was was uh, the E Myth mm -hmm. uh, by uh, Mike McGurk, I believe. The E Myth book, right? It's just about how to turn your startup a business into a system. I was also reading a book called The Pumpkin Startup Plan, I believe. Okay. Right, so most books I've been reading a little more about startups. And then, uh, maybe uh, what would be the best book you've read in the last couple of years? Oh, in the last couple of years. Positioning, okay. um, it's a book about branding, mm -hmm. right? I think it's probably the best book I've read about branding and marketing from personal brand to company or corporate brand. Um, also, I would say the one page marketing plan. Okay. It's a great book that really shows you everything about online marketing, right? From really cultivating your user base and your audience and being able to really get them to move. Yeah. You read very good those books because what you're doing right now <laughs> yeah, is your brand. I put it to work. Okay, uh, how about maybe uh, that we will make a little bit challenge with our subscribers that they will start asking interesting questions about you in the next couple of days and uh, within the next couple of weeks you will select one winner and you will present him your favorite book with your signature. Yeah. Thank you.